Hello everybody and welcome back to Awkwardism Gaming on Friday with The Wolf Among Us, episode 4. Okay, oh. I have been shot, stabbed, um, kicked around, uh, thrown against walls, and now shot with a silver bullet. Let's continue. She needs to talk to you about, but that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it. Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Big. So Ichabod said that there was a spell. I love this opening. Okay, that's enough of that. Oh wait, that's right, I can't skip it. Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. talk to me about. I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. The, uh, my lips are sealed thing. So we finally get to that. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting it's your own here. time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for. You found a way to tell me. They sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. Crane wasn't the murderer. The open arms was a setup. You sent me someone else you wanted me to find there. 
these lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, well, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. Not just my friends. I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know... I want to help, but... But... But your lips are sealed. I'm... sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? That's me. Snow. Listen, Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. Gonna have to tell Snow. She has to know about the ribbons. If you have to, just don't tell anyone else. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. We might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. No, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? 
Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Moon? Or do you think they just heard about last night? Yudi told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Guess I'm going to Beasts and Bell's room by myself. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? Snow sent me. Said you wanted to talk. Not me. Listen, I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? Who's at the door? You don't want to talk. Can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? Someone's a little but hurt. It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Hmm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Can you tell you're going to make a problem? Hmm. You talk about living in the past. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do. So... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything for if real. you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the crooked man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the crooked man. I don't know if it's worth it. You if might be you next. can, give us certain assurances. You are in danger. You do need to cooperate so I can get the crooked man off the street. You don't want to be next. But if you'd rather deal with this on your own, no, please don't. Then tell me, what the fuck is going on? You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And 
We got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived, like... Hi there, you've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Uh, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing a float? <laughs> and we can't come to the phone right now, so leave a message at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> what the fuck was that? Ah, don't worry about it. Probably just a wrong number. Really? I think we're one digit off from some pizza place. Fine. I'm sure you can handle whatever this is on your own. I'll see you later. Please, Bigby. Wait. We've been getting horrible <coughs> phone calls. It's the Crooked Man's people trying to collect, and we aren't safe, even in our own home. We owe some money. Finally. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh yeah, that slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan paper squeezed out of some poor fable, but never the crooked man. Mainly it's just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the woodsman's axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Can Bloody Mary must go through? She had Woody's axe last night. Trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. We didn't think it would get like this. We're decent people, Bigby. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. It's the only thing I've been able to pick up. It's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work, especially not where she was. It's up to me to take care of her. to provide for beauty, give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this, scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed Time's to a certain changed, lifestyle. Bud. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Bigby. Bigby. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Okay. On a one chance, I can go to the pawn shop. The Lucky Pawn. That's... You know that butcher shop? 
The I'm going to the Lucky Pond. Lucky Pond. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. There's too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I don't go around fixing debts. Lucky for you, what I am gonna do might just fix it anyway. Just keep us in mind, please. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I wanted me to kill him. <laughs> okay then. Looks like you slept in it. In a pile of garbage. Jack, why are you... I've seen you take a torn purse for a tenner. Yeah, but I also got her phone number. I don't want your phone number. Ugh, really? Whoa. Big B's here. Oh. This is a surprise. Sheriff, why are you never glamour tough? Why is it so hard to just... Follow the rules. Look, I know some fables can switch from man to beast and back again, like changing shirts. But it's not so easy for the rest of us to look human, right? And anyways, I'm getting the money right now. I'm not taking the coat. But it's magic. So? And it'll be covering a check I already wrote. Okay, well, that sounds like a your problem problem to me. Yeah, it is. And so I came here to sell it off. Hey, wait a minute. That's Faith's coat. It was face coat. Look, you left it in my place. What do you expect me to do? Yes, I think the off-sighted statute of Finder's Keepers clearly states that it's his now, Bigby. So what's it gonna be? I don't know what to tell you. See if Cindy needs a coat. I don't know. <sighs> this is to pay for those bloody glamours, you know. You and your blinking rules. If the witches didn't charge so fucking much, I wouldn't have to be in here dealing with this nonsense. You know, maybe Snow can help me out. How could Snow help me out? Give you an advance. A loan or something. She's kind of in charge of the business office now. Well, the last guy who was in charge didn't help us much, so forgive me if I don't expect anything different now. I don't know what you're getting so steamed about. Shouldn't be that big of a shock that I'm not gonna take an ass hair coat. No, I guess it shouldn't be, since this old bleeding operation's just a setup for one of his shady fucking loads. Ixnay on the own lays, okay, Og Frey? I mean, what kind of a game are you running in? Cold? You turn down people's stuff so you can peddle his shit. I know who you're talking about. Um, Og Frey? The crooked man, right? This is his place. Those are his loans. Well, I'll leave you to your business. I'm sure you'll have a lot to talk about. Good luck with that glamour, <laughs> toad. Fuck off. Leave the coat. How the hell do you expect me to get a glamour, then? It's not like I've got a lot of options, though. Look, I'll... I'll give you some money, all right? You've got to be kidding me. Do you even know how much a glamour costs? I've... Never had to buy one. Keep your money, Sheriff. I've no patience for charity. If you're gonna be out like this, can't you at least wear a bigger hat? You know, it's getting old to tell the difference. Between what? Between the business office and fables like a crooked man, who you purportedly seek to protect us from. Either way, I'm getting screwed. Drop by anytime. Look, I'm sorry, all right? What else do you want from me? It really grows on you. Then there's this Look, guy. I work here sometimes for the extra cash. It's 
something stable. You know, between more entrepreneurial bouts. And before you ask, I've never seen the crooked man in here. Neither hide nor hair and all that. In fact, as far as I can tell, he's never even actually stepped foot in here. But Bloody Mary works for him. Last time I saw her, she had the woodsman's axe. So? So the last time anybody else saw that axe, it was here. We'd never take something like that. Is this really why you came down here? The woodsman's axe? Because I don't know anything about it. I'll be asking the questions here, Jack. Okay, fine. Fire away. Because I'm not a mind reader. And unless it's bar trivia, I don't think I can help much anyway. There's more than just pawning going on here. We got the loans. What else? Maybe it's like a weapons locker, too. Was the axe here? No. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I think I'd notice a giant mystical axe. And that's saying something. Since, you know, I can sometimes miss the obvious. You wouldn't mind if I look <laughs> around for a bit then. And what if I did mind? Got it. Listen, I gotta start closing up shop, so, uh... Close? It's the middle of the day. What can I say? Jersey likes to run it on hours. And really, he'd be the one to talk to, so... Can't you just swing by later? It really wouldn't be good for me if he sees your face when he walks in, so, uh... What else can you tell me about Jersey Devil? Just that he's a fucking psycho, and I like to stay out of his way. I typically work when he's not here. But I can call you when he comes back, alright? Can't you Shut just... up, Jack. The Jersey Devil isn't here to answer my questions. It also means he isn't here to get in my way. So I'm gonna take a look around. As long as I've got the elbow room. Alright. Don't let me get in your way. I won't. Hmm. Just my life. Reminds me of Briar Rose. You're not touching anything, are you? Oh, okay then. Hey, look with your eyes, not your hands, okay? The Headless Horseman? Isn't this Cranes? Maybe. I don't know. But I know what that is. This is Prince Lawrence's dagger. Did he sell this? I don't know. Look, are you almost done? A dagger isn't exactly the axe, so, uh... How can you not know who pawned it? I'm not here every day. And even when I am here, people sometimes dump boxes of shit. What does it matter? You don't know how hard most of us have it, do you? Yeah? If you had my job, you wouldn't get out of bed. It was a rhetorical question, but... Sure, fine. All right, last one. Take something like this. Uh, uh, what? I, I, do, I don't, uh... You're a lying piece of shit, Jack. Oh, okay, come on, baby. That the wasn't... The axe was right here all along. Now tell me what happened to him. I don't know anything about that. I don't, really. I mean, I don't work every day, so... Uh... Just tell me the truth. What happened to the axe? 
there was Mary. She took it, okay? That's all I know. That's all you know? You don't know she almost fucking killed me with it last night? No. No. I had no goddamn idea. She say anything about... about the crooked man's plans. About Crane? What? You think we're friends? I try not to even look that crazy chick in the eye. Ooh. Things are getting heated. I love it. Okay, well, that's it for this episode. If you liked this episode, please like the... Uh, thing in the back and subscribe and tell your friends join the legions okay and i'll see you guys next friday with more the wolf among us bye